My name is Steve Maruzzi. I'm a Territory Service Manager for Lars Heating Systems. We're here to talk about the white user interface. This was utilized prior to October 2012. It was used on the Neotherm boilers and the Mascot 2. So we're going to talk about lockouts <clears throat> and how to reset a lockout. Before we get into the lockout, um, if anyone has shut off or interrupted power to the boiler, when you turn power back on, it's going to go through a flash code. And that flash code, for example, on this control is 3.5. And all that is, that's the version of this display, and it's communicating with the control board inside the boiler, all right? That flash code will appear for 90 seconds. You can't do anything with the buttons, so no matter what button you press, it's not going to allow you to get in there. So I want to make everyone aware that if you power off a boiler, or if for any reason you had a power interruption, once it's restored, that boiler will go into a flash code giving you the display reading. Now, what I want to show here is an ignition lockout. It's a 109 lockout. What we did was we shut off gas to the boiler, let it go through its ignition sequence, and lock out the boiler. What I want to bring up to your attention is you're going to see two numbers flashing at you. And it's very important that we look at this because you don't want to call in a service call or talk to tech support and give them the wrong information. So when it's actually locked out, it'll show 109, and when it's showing the 109, it'll show lockout on the bottom part of the screen. At the top, you'll also see outlet, okay? The outlet temperature is 69 degrees. So right now the boiler is off. Uh, we're reading 69 degrees at the outlet sensor. That is not the lockout. That is actually the temperature of the boiler at the moment, okay? So again, the lockout is 109. It's ignition failure. And what you'll see down here in the lower left corner, this button becomes the reset button. So very simply, you can press the reset button right here on the screen, release it, and that will clear the lockout. And what you'll see is now the boiler will go back into check, so it's checking its safety chain, okay? From there, it'll go into pre-purge, that's the blower ramping up, clearing the chamber of any residual gases, and then it will go into ignition and eventually run. So here we're at pre-purge. It's gonna stay in pre-purge for a few seconds, and then it will eventually go into ignition and then it'll attempt to light. Again, we have the, the gas shut off to this boiler, so it's not going to go into run. It goes back to check and then pre-purge, okay? Uh, so that's basically how you reset the any lockout from the home screen. Keep in mind, write down your lockouts before you reset it, okay? Thank you. For anybody interested in uh, training classes on the Neotherm, which we get into, we do have a live-fired station here at the facility. We can hold up to 70 people in our training room. Uh, please go to Lars.com and look at our online sign-up sheets for our training classes. Thank you very much.